Oh my goodness, what a win for the Toronto Raptors. They come back on the road, 22 down against the San Antonio Spurs to win this game on Sunday. We are going to talk about it. It is Luca here, Raptors Nation YouTube channel. You are tuned in. Do me a solid, hit a like on the video. It helps a ton. Please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Man, oh man, did we ever see a spectacle Scotty Barnes absolutely taking over in the fourth quarter, scoring 17 of his 30 in the frame, single-handedly propelling the Raptors back from a big hole that they dug themselves in that brutal first half. OG Anobi, game-time bucket to force overtime. The Raptors survive in OT, and this team, I mean, they somehow get the win, but all the talk is about the coming out party of Scotty Barnes. I mean, this dude has been incredible. We all came into the season as Raptors fans hoping that Scotty Barnes was going to take that third-year leap. He has taken that leap and then some in his first seven games of the season. Scotty Barnes putting up MVP-type numbers has another 20-plus point game, his first 30-point performance of the season. And I tell you guys, I mean, I haven't seen something like this since Kawhi Leonard, where the Raptors dead in the water, they needed somebody to just propel them. And Scotty Barnes put this team on his back and got the job done. Scotty Barnes definitely has that dog in him. I mean, Barnes, 30 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, 3 blocks, 5 of 10 from 3, 9 of 20 from the field. He was a plus 14, which was the best plus minus out of any Raptors player. And just talking about his performance in that fourth, hitting threes, back-to-back -back threes, outplaying Victor Wabanyama in that quarter, blowing by Victor, getting the rebound, and then finishing with the vicious dunk. I mean, we saw so many great things in that fourth quarter that honestly left me speechless. Scotty Barnes played like an absolute superstar in that fourth quarter, and he carried the Raptors when it looked like this game was going to get out of hand because the Raptors, they did not begin this game well. Brutal first half, couldn't hit a three. Barnes actually struggled. Siakam was struggling. Nobody was getting it going. You got to credit Dennis Schroeder, though. He was the only Raptors player who showed up in that first half, but then... As soon as the Raptors turned to a lineup that featured Scotty Barnes with some of those bench guys, Barnes completely flipped the script. He completely took over this game, which led obviously to overtime. But I mean, I cannot express how happy I am with Barnes' development out of the gate here, guys. I don't think anybody planned for this to begin the season. I mean, this type of leap that we are seeing, like Barnes is absolutely blowing the door on his production. This is a guy who now in his last six games, 30, 11, 6, 24, 8, and 8, 21, 12, and 5, 20, 12, and 2, 24, 8, and 5, 22, 10, and 10. Like this is very clearly Scotty Barnes's team now. He is the face of this franchise. Give him the keys. And this Raptors team just needs to cater around him. And we saw it and we've been seeing it. You know, a guy like Pascal Siakam, he struggled in this game. Yes, he had a big three in overtime, but you can tell this is no longer Pascal Siakam's team. This is no longer Pascal Siakam's the best player on this team. No, this is Scotty Barnes's team. Scotty Barnes is very clearly the best player on this team. And it's going to be interesting to see how this continues to go here because Siakam overall last two games, he hasn't been good. He struggled looking more like a role player than a guy who's trying to make all NBA and get that super max contract. So if this type of theme continues and we see Barnes just play this unbelievable brand of basketball, you know, the Raptors are going to have to make decisions, but we're not going to talk about that because this is just all about Barnes is coming out party. And this potentially is the game that officially, officially puts him on the map as the Raptors premier star. I mean, this was just unbelievable to see guys and uh, what a win, what a comeback. Scotty Barnes having this type of outing. You can't say, you can't say enough good things about it. Now you want to, I want to give credit to some other guys here because Scotty Barnes did take over. Raptors don't win this game with old Barnes and that fourth quarter, but Dennis Schroeder, 
He continues to be such a positive for this Raptors team. I've been the biggest guy on the Dennis Schroeder hype train since the Raptors made the signing. I mean, this dude has been such a great Raptor. The vibes are restored because of Dennis Schroeder. He plays with such a great amount of energy. Like I said, he was the only Raptors player who showed up in that first half or else that lead could have been 30-plus. Schroeder, 24 points, 6 assists, 3 rebounds. He was 1 of 8 from 3, but 10 of 19 from the field. Dennis Schroeder is getting more and more comfortable as the Raptors' starting point guard, and it's really great to see him play as well as he has. I mean, Dennis Schroeder is having one of his best seasons as a pro so far with the Raptors. So Dennis continues to excel at that point guard position. OG Ananobi was huge in this one. Scotty Barnes needed, you know, a sidekick, needed that guy who was going to come up big as well. And, you know, OG proved to be that guy, 24 points. You look at OG, seven rebounds, four assists, one of four from the free throw line, seven of 13 from deep, eight of 16 from the field. OG, seven three-pointers made. He was huge for the Raptors in this win. And then, of course, game time bucket, getting that ball away from Webanyama to force overtime. And speaking of Webanyama, OG and Anobi did most of the guarding on Webanyama. And Webanyama, I mean, he had 20 points, 7 of 16, 2 of 7 from 3. Did not have his typical staggering Victor Webanyama game. He was a minus 16. Scotty Barnes was clearly the best player on the court, which is just crazy. But again, you got to credit OG. You know, obviously he got blocked by Victor. Victor still ate a little bit. But between OG and Anobi and Scotty Barnes, I thought they did a nice job on Victor. So OG came to play. Dennis came to play. Yaka Pirtle. Got to give him some credit too. 16 and 10. Had a nice game against his former team. Three steals. Was a very efficient 8 of 10 from the field. So this was a game where the Raptors didn't need bench production. And the bench hasn't been good once again. I mean, they got to get better if the Raptors do want to be a serious playoff team this season. But, you know, you look at Gary Trent Jr., 4 of 8, 10 points. I thought Otto Porter Jr., though, I will say this. Otto Porter Jr. played some pretty big minutes down the stretch for the Raptors. He was a plus 9. He was very impactful. And it's great to see Otto Porter Jr. play in some meaningful minutes for the Raptors. But, I mean, this is just a great win for Toronto. The type of win that can totally transform their season. And, you know, like I said, we'll see what happens with the whole Pascal Siakam thing. I personally think the writing is on the wall for him. But, you know... It's evident, you know, everybody get out of the way. This is Scotty Barnes' team now, and we are seeing it in real time, you know, why Masai and company did not want to trade this guy for Damian Lillard, did not want to trade this guy for Kevin Durant. It has just been amazing to see Barnes, his composure, his demeanor, and that is such a breath of fresh air. Not only is Barnes getting these numbers, but he is coming up big in big moments. And, like, take this game as a perfect example. Scotty Barnes didn't get off to a good start. Scotty Barnes only had three points at halftime. He was struggling, and it looked like it was going to be that type of game. But what two great players do, it doesn't matter how they start, it's how they finish. Scotty Barnes completely turned this game around, and he came up big when the Raptors needed him to. So this is just such a stellar performance by him. What a win for the Toronto Raptors. They're going to have two days off to rejoice this win, You know, try to build some momentum until they got Dallas. But... Scotty Barnes, all the talk was about Victor Wabanyama coming into this one, and all the talk is about Scotty Barnes after this one is finished. Unbelievable stuff. But Raptors Nation, what was your reaction to this win by the Raptors? Your reaction to Scotty Barnes's coming out performance here? Unbelievable stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit a like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. That is it for me. This is Lucas signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe.